In this presentation, I'll be showing you how to create a web photo gallery using Photoshop in the Adobe Bridge program. Start by launching the bridge, clicking on the icon beneath the word Photoshop. Give it a few moments to load. Adobe Bridge is a program that runs from within Photoshop. All right, it is loaded. The next thing we need to do is select the correct type of output. Move your cursor over to the word output. Click on the word output. That will open up an output panel if it's not already open, and we'll normally have two choices, PDF or web gallery, and obviously we're interested in the web gallery. Let me expand this out a little bit so you can read it all. Uh, from this, we then need to select our content that's going to go into our web gallery. That's where these images will be shown. Select the location using your folders panel on the left side and you can navigate to wherever those may be. Again, mine are already there in the images folder. If I were to choose some other folder, it would show me the content in there. In my case, I want my images, and I need to select what images I want. In this case, we'll just select these first few. And it is now putting it into the preview window. From there, I can select the type of uh, gallery I would like update the look by clicking on refresh preview. So using the standard template those images would look like this. If I decided that instead I wanted a slideshow type gallery I can select that and then refresh the preview. And that one would look like that. If I wanted a well, let's try a Lightroom flash gallery. And you may have different choices. This is CS4. CS5 has some other choices. Also, I'm recording this at a smaller screen size. So some of this is going to be cut off so that I can try to get as much of the screen in as possible. So yours, you have bigger monitors, you'll be able to see everything. All right, so in this particular gallery, that's the way this one would look. And if I'm happy with that, then I would also need to make any necessary changes to the information that this web gallery would require. Once you've put that in, there are some things that you can customize with color and appearance, but we would then need to be able to save this to whatever location we want. Normally, you would not have anything in here, and once again, CS5 looks a little bit different than CS4, but you do need to specify a save location. And normally, in here, this would be web photo gallery when you come into this program and this will be a folder that it creates so if you simply want a folder called gallery obviously you saw I had done that previously just delete the remaining part leave it as gallery pick the location that you are going to save this gallery to so let's say I'm going to save it on my Macintosh HD and put it into let's just create a new folder on the desktop let's say I want to put this into my test folder so it will then create a folder called gallery that's going to go inside test. I click on save. It goes through the process, creating all the necessary images and HTML pages. It tells me that it's done. If I then take a peek at that folder, here's that folder that I created. Open it up. Here's the name of the folder that I gave it. And in there are the necessary uh, documents required to open up that web page. Now notice it gives us this uh, information. It's telling us that since we are using flash and running it off the hard drive there is a potential for unsafe operations but we created these files so we know that they're safe. And so we can go ahead and preview it in our gallery. So these could be run locally off of a computer. They could also be saved to a server and run as a web page. Okay that concludes creating a web gallery using Adobe Bridge.